Hello and welcome to another video. My name is Boxiest, and today we're going to continue the What If series. What if events had gone differently? And in this What If, we're going to change the history of Cobra Kai. What if Sam and Robbie kissed during the events of Cobra Kai Season 4? So in this timeline, the events of Cobra Kai Season 4 would still happen. Cobra Kai and Miyai Fang would still train for the All Valley. Kuris would still get Terry Silver, and the events of Cobra Kai Season 4 would carry on. Cobra Kai would still get the revenge on Hawk, so Daniel and Johnny would still go their separate ways. The prom would still happen, and Miguel would still go with Sam. Tori would still invite Robbie to the prom, and Terry Silver would still help them out. Those events would stay the same. Shannon would still talk to Johnny in this timeline, and she would tell him about Terry Silver and Robbie. So Johnny would still want to confront Terry Silver in this timeline, so Terry Silver would still attack Johnny, and they would still fight, but Terry Silver would still defeat him, and at the prom, Robbie and Tori would still show up, Sam and Miguel would be surprised to see them together, the students would start dancing, and Sam and Miguel would see Robbie and Tori dancing, and they would start to be jealous, the night would continue, Stingray would still organize the after party, so the students would go to Stingray's house, and the party would continue, Cobra Kai, Eagle Fang, and Miyado would show up, and at the party, Sam would start drinking. Robbie would also be drinking in this timeline. Sam would see Robbie in her drunken state, and she would want to go talk to him. Sam would confront Robbie for leaving Miyaido. She would tell Robbie that he broke her heart, but she would also apologize to him for moving on to Miguel after he went to Juvie. And much like in season 2, Sam would start to fall over, but Robbie would catch her, and this is when Sam would lean in to kiss Robbie. So Sam and Robbie would kiss in this timeline. Miguel would see this from afar, and he would be heartbroken. So Miguel would turn to leave. Sam would turn to face Miguel, and she would realize what she had done. So Sam would go after after Miguel, Robbie would realize what he had done and he would see Tori looking at him in the distance. Tori would be mad, and she would be heartbroken, so Tori would turn to leave, and Robbie would go after her. Miguel would still show up at Johnny's apartment, and he would still see him on the floor, so Miguel would still help him, and much like in the original timeline, Johnny would still think that he was talking to Robbie, and he would still tell him that he loves him. Miguel would be even more heartbroken, and the next day, the Cobra Kai students would continue their training. Tori would be angry, and she would want to take out all her anger. Robbie would show up, and he would want to apologize to Tori, but Tori would be angry. She would say that he was just like Miguel, and this is what she gets for putting her trust in anyone. Robbie would be ashamed, and this is when he would decide to leave Cobra Kai. So Robbie would leave Cobra Kai in this timeline, and the night of the All Valley, the three dojos would compete. Cobra Kai wouldn't make it as far in this timeline. Miguel, Sam, and Tori would be distracted, but Tori would be fighting with anger, and they would still make it to the qualifier rounds. Eli would still get his confidence back, and he would easily defeat Kyler. Without Robbie there, Kenny would advance, and he would fight Dimitri. But Dimitri would defeat Kenny in this timeline, so Cobra Kai would be eliminated from the boys' division, and Dimitri would advance to the finals. Eli would still fight Miguel in the semi-finals, but Miguel would still be injured in this timeline, and much like in the original timeline, Miguel would choose not to fight, so Eli would advance to the finals. Daniel would be happy that Eli and Dimitri made it to the finals. Eli and Dimitri would fight, but Eli would defeat Dimitri, and he would still be the All Valley Champion, and in the girls division, Sam would advance, but she would be distracted, and she would barely make it to the finals. Sam and Tori would still fight, but in this timeline, Tori would be fighting with anger, and she would show no mercy. She would want to get revenge on Sam. Sam would be distracted, and Tori would be fighting dirty. So in this timeline, Tori would still defeat Sam, but Miyaido would win overall in this timeline. Daniel would be happy, and Miyaido would celebrate, and the season would end in a very similar way. Robbie wouldn't go to Johnny in this timeline, and Miguel would still run away. Carice and Terry would be mad that Robbie betrayed them. Carice would be ready to shut down Cobra Kai, but this is when Terry would still betray Carice. He would say that with his new leadership, he wasn't going to let Cobra Kai lose again, so Carice would still be arrested in this timeline, and Cobra Kai would remain open. Daniel would find out that Cobra Kai was still open, and he would be mad, so Daniel and Terry Silver would still have a rivalry. The rivalry between Sam and Tori would continue, and that is where I'm going to end this what if. Thank you guys for watching. What do you guys think would have happened if Sam and Robbie kissed? during the events of Cobra Kai Season 4. Let me know in the comments below. YouTube lets me know that the majority of you are not subscribed, so if you guys could subscribe, that would be much appreciated. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like this video, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. And I'll see you guys next time.